Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more project ideas and tutorials. Hey everyone, today's tutorial is all about heat transfer vinyl or HTV. In the Cricut world, this is called Iron On, and today I'm going to show you a couple tips and tricks for using HTV, as well as for using more than one color. So here's our design for today. As you can see, we're going to be using four different colors. And since I'm going to be using two different shapes that are red, I have them attached over on the side. If you're not sure how to use the attach feature, you can check out this link to this other video I have where I walk you through all of the tools. But for today, let's go into tip number one. When I have multiple colors and go into the map view, Design Space automatically puts each color on a different mat. Since it's annoying to cut out and organize four different mats, it's so much easier just to put them all together on the same one. There are two ways of doing this. The first way is to click those three dots on the left and click Move Object. Just pick the mat that you want to move it to and press confirm. We would keep doing this until all of the shapes were on the same mat. This way does take a little bit more work, so I'll show you the second method as well. Go back into your design, highlight everything, and just change it all into the same color. Then when you go to the mat view, all of your shapes are already on the same mat. What I like to do is just drag all the shapes into each corner because this makes it really easy to line up my vinyl onto the mat. Now we're ready to load our mat with our vinyl. If you haven't used HTV or iron on before, one side is shiny, and it's because it has a protective carrier that stops the material from sticking to your heat press. This is the side that's gonna go down that you stick to your mat. This means that when you're cutting out your design, you're going to cut it from the bottom. And once you flip it over, your image will be backwards. If it's a picture, then it's not that big of a deal. But if it's writing, you have to press mirror in the mat view so that your writing isn't backwards when you stick it back onto your shirt. All right, now that everything's cut out, grab your favorite weeding tool and go ahead and get started. I like using this tool because it has a little hook on the end and it makes everything easy to pull up. There are so many different ways out there for layering vinyl, but because my design doesn't actually have any colors going on top of each other, I'm actually gonna cut each layer today so that I can line them up exactly how I want them. When you're using HTV, an important step that you shouldn't forget is prepping your shirt. This is really simple. Just use your heat press or your iron and flatten the surface that you're going to stick it on for about 15 seconds. Once your prep is done, Go ahead and put on your HTV however you like it. The carrier sheet is a bit sticky, so you can just push that down into your shirt so that your design stays and grab your heat press. If you find that your design is lifting at all, there is heat resistant tape that you can get from Cricut. This shirt is a cotton poly blend, so I'm going to be using my heat press at 330 degrees for 30 seconds. Try to hold your heat press very still and push down with light pressure. And once your timer is done, flip it over and do the back for an extra 15 seconds. It depends on the material if you need to pull off the carrier sheet when it's warm or when it's cool. For everyday iron-on from Cricut, you wanna test it and make sure that it's cool to touch before you pull off your sheet. Well, I hope you found these tips helpful and that your next project is a complete success. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.